In this video tutorial, I'm going to try to create a variation on the designs you see here in front of you in as quick a time as possible. So the general goal here is to have boxes with rounded edges, a bit of a jagged edge around the edge of the page, and uh, also this flow between the pages. This could either be spectacular or a total failure. I made this video just to kind of show all of my students a uh, general good working paths and good working processes. So I've already selected all of my pictures and I have them in my production folder and they're organized with uh, pictures that can be cropped as portraits, pictures that can be cropped as landscapes fairly well, and oh sorry this is the square crop arrangement. You can just see there that would work really well as a square crop. And then the pictures that would work well as a horizontal crop. The design should have a, a variety of box shapes. So let's do it. So here on a new page, I'm going to set up my underlying structure. So I'm working on 24, 25 right now. So to set up margins and columns, both pages are selected, margins and columns, and I want a gutter of 0 0.125. My top bottom inside outside at half an inch. And I'm going to go crazy here. I'm going to try a seven column underlying structure. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to work on creating some frames. And I'm going to have a bit of a spread that goes across. I think I'm going to go like that. Try that this time. And I think for this one, I'm going to make that a bit bigger get my spacer out here. My spacer is 0 0.125 inches. And I'm going to make one like that. Again, I have no idea if this design is going to work or not, but let's give it a go. All right, now I'm going to build off from here. I think I'm in the mood for a square frame right here. So I was pressing shift on the keyboard to keep that square. So I'm going back with the black arrow tool, pressing shift on the keyboard, and that should be a perfect square. Yes, it is. All right, and now, what should I do here? Put in my spacer. All right, there's our spacer there. I think I'm going to make frames like this. I'm just using the underlying margins and columns, the underlying structure, to give the design some shape. I'm going to press Option on the keyboard and just duplicate this one so it's exactly the same size right there. All right, there we go. And so here's, here's sort of the trademark thing. I'm going to try to keep some ragged edges going on here. Make another spacer here. 0 0.125 inches. I think I feel like another square here. It's a bit smaller than the last one. Get that nicely aligned here. So with this look, I'm going to go for something that's a little bit ragged, so I'm not actually going to use, I'm just going to use my gut, gut feeling to uh, get some spacers in there, and not right to the edge here. And I feel like a portrait. Orientation box right there, and again the spacer is set up nicely there. Maybe I want this one a bit bigger. Right, and now for some more work over here. Again, I'm going to grab my spacer here. Some alignment going on there. Okay, 
love this green line that helps you align objects. This time I think I'm going to make a frame that is aligned to these objects. And I'm going to create my own underline structure here quickly. So I think I want it to be about this wide, not tall. And I'm going to pull in a guideline here. And then I'm going to make a new spacer. Actually, just duplicate the spacer. Option, click, drag. And I'm going to put that one there. Now that looks like that. Option, click, drag. And I think I'm going to break, break the structure there just a little bit for a variety. You can also just make your spacer 0 0.125 like this way. grab my text up here. This is just a placeholder. And jump down. Shift Option Command V does paste in place. Just gonna readjust that here. There's some good alignment there. Let's check one more time. Always zoom in on objects to make sure that you can see things nice and close. Okay, so we have our basic structure here, and now I'm going to quickly round all the corners of these boxes. So I'm going to do that with the black arrow tool and the shift key. So I'm pressing shift on the keyboard, and I'm just quickly selecting each frame. And under object, corner options, we're doing 0 0.125. And now those objects are rounded. There we go. So I'm going to save my work here. And in the next video, let's put in some pictures.